we have got the iron hide shotgun kind of like a a little sniper boy here on Miami Strike. This is actually, normally I would use this weapon over on Nuketown, but it's actually rather appropriate for Miami Strike. The more that I think about it, because, you know, there's a lot of close range engagements. There's not many super long range engagements that you're gonna find a bunch of problems with, you know? Not like a lot of other maps, that is. A lot of maps, you have a lot of close quarters engagement mixed in with a lot of long range engagements you know what i mean Kill. which in turn makes it difficult to use weapons like this this is guy's not playing oh he's looking wait a minute oh no i was gonna go for the humiliation viking leave me alone i don't run into that many afk players you know and i don't often use executions but somebody asked for me to do it that is use an execution And I just, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to use, you know what I mean? So that being said, the iron hide is not a weapon I expect to get, you know, 50 kills with. I'm going to try my best to get as many kills as possible. But again, 50 kills is probably not the target because I'm very limited to how I can use it and how I have to play. So the point is, I'm going to get aggressive and I'm going to see how this goes. I expect to probably die a lot more than a normal video, stuff like that. Because again, I kind of have to play this a certain way. You can't just go full fledged. You know, it's not a sniper. It has a crazy range for a shotgun, but it's still not, you know, a sniper. And if I can, I'll squeak in an execution because that was requested of me. I don't know how probable that is on a map like this because I'm going to go for it and I'm probably going to die. I just know how this goes. The spawn situation is also a bit uh, curious at the moment. There's your long range. Holy. That's insane, Vikings. That's insane. That is insane work out of you. In fact, it, I would claim it to be a bit suspect out of you. We are in the year of, oh, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in the year 2024, playing Black Ops Cold War. That's the same thing goes to you, Cookie. We're in the year 2024, playing Black Ops Cold War, and you have your butt plopped in a corner. I mean, it's plopped. Hello? Hello? And I still somehow died? What? The way these, the way these people are playing is just out of this world. Out of this world. I can't comprehend it, man. You know how entertaining it would be for me to go, oh, yeah, I got my spot. I'm not going to move. My spot. My spot. Nobody else is my spot. Sure. Neutralized. Look at him. This could be my execution, actually. Get your butt over here. boy, Viking. Got a boy, Viking. Camping ass. Out of here with that camping ass. Sure. Sure. Begin hop operations. Sure. 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 Keep him coming. Out. 
Trophy system active. Located. That's 37. I'm doing better than I would have expected, actually. That war machine did come in clutch. I put that on for a valid reason, you know? I put that on because I expected I was going to need it to at least pick up the kill count a little bit, make it a, a smidge more entertaining, and it definitely came in with the clutch factor, I would say. Oh, got some action. Got, got some action in here. Hello? Wasted him. Okay. One, two flank of root. I'm in a pickle. Still in a pickle. Trophy online. We're leaving it. Am I? I'm leaving it. All right, all right, you know what? I don't care. That was worth it. That was worth it. They're playing like rats, weenie butts, and I gave him the sauce. Sauce. Sure. 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 Oh, this is not good. I won't lie to you, this is not good. It's 54. I mean, the war machine got me a lot of kills. I'm not going to act like it didn't, but that's the iron high, and I had a ton of fun using it. So I've kind of been enjoying covering secondaries here in Black Ops Cold War, and I was kind of thinking about doing some pistols, maybe the 1911, the Diamati. I also plan to do the Gallo because, I don't know, it's just a change of pace. I kind of feel myself having a little more fun with them because I know I'm not going to get as many kills as I normally do, but at the same time, it just kind of takes the pressure off of me. So if you guys have a particular secondary you guys want to see here in Black Ops Cold War, make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know. Our first attachment here, we're going to want the infantry V choke because this is a weapon you do aim down sight with a lot. It's going to give you a 30%, 33% tighter ADS spread. Definitely not one you normally hip fire with. Definitely one on the ADS scale. For your bow, you're going to want the reinforced heavy here not only increase your damage range, but also fire rate. Without the correct attachments, the fire rate is mildly unusable in my opinion. So this is one of two attachments to increase your fire rate, but again, also increasing the damage range there by 12%. For your magazine, you're gonna want the eight round tube. Self-explanatory. Only thing you're really doing here is slowing down the reload quickness because you insert one bullet at a time. For your handle, the drop shot wrap. This is a different one for sure, because normally you'd wanna maximize on the aimed out sight speed, right? makes sense but this one does increase your fire rate so in turn this is the second attachment to increase your fire rate by 10 percent it also increases your reload quickness so you have this in the barrel to increase that fire rate and the final attachment is the no stock because of that 40 percent increase to sprint to fire helping you with your aggressive play so here's going to be all those attachments on the screen make sure you guys copy them down if you guys want to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already i'll see you guys in the next one